In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a simple WordPress site on Volta. So we are setting up Volta and uh, I'll be using a Plesk panel. So this is the site, you can see it, it's really an amazing site. I'm using Cades, um free templates. You can see how amazing it is, you know, you can just go around. I've not edited anything, it's just, I've imported the entire template and there are so many free templates. I deployed an instance on Volta and then you can see the performance of this website on GT metrics. Uh, the large content paint is 604 millisecond, which is really good. And then I also did a speed test on Google page site, uh, page speed insight on Google. And on mobile, you can see the performance is 97, I'm hoping 97, of which it can be improved because as I say, the starter templates are not optimized and there's much that can be done. But uh, with that, you can see the performance is good. It's good. I've tried different templates. There are templates which even give me up to 1.5, large content painful of 1.5 second, which is also good. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end. To do this, use the link in the description to create a free account on Volta. Enter your email address and a strong password and then click create. Once you click create, you'll be directed to a new page. So this is the new page and immediately you receive an email to verify this email. So click it to verify. Your email is now verified and, and as you can see, you have received a hundred free credit. So we need to fill our details. So fill your details and make sure to fill in your credit card detail. Click on this box to make sure that your credit card will not be charged and then agree to terms and services. And then you link your card. Choose cloud compute. Mm -hmm. I prefer okay, either choose the high frequency, gives you better performance. And then you can choose a location that is suitable for you. For most English speaking people, maybe on New York. If you're in Australia, you can go for Sydney. Go to the marketplace. We want to install Blesk. We're using the web admin, the free version. We want to choose one virtual CPU is enough to run around five websites. One GB memory is good. And then they're trying to upsell you backup. You don't need that. Plesk panel has a backup feature. And then we don't need anything else. And then we can label it to label it Josh WP. And then let's deploy the server. So the server is running. Let's give it a few minutes. Well, it's okay now. Let's click on. We can use this IP address to create DNS records. I'm using Namecheap. Uh, you can find the link below. You can get up to 60% off when you use my link. So we'll add new records. I want to add an A record. This is at root. Then the value is going to add the IP address. We add a new record. CNAME. This is www. Target host is Josh WP dot site save changes and then we add another record this one we want to add um, an air record for the panel so this is panel we're going to use plesk panel and then the IP address 
create here that's amazing you can add more um, dns records especially for mail if you will be using mail we'll do that later so let's go back to your server use this link to log into plexpan you'll get an ssl warning click on advance and uh, then and just proceed just proceed with this or use the link that is given here accept your cookies okay our username is root and then password is the server password so we is root then the password that we're given login can save that okay mm, let's give a name here i prefer josh wp uh, an email will use josh wp for gmail then you can choose a strong password and then click on plesk give it a few seconds well now it's done so let's just add a new domain our domain is dot uh, site our domain want to change this crazy url to a default one so we'll, that is i mean we want to give plesk a default url remember in our dns records we created an air record for plesk for the panel so we'll go back to the panel under tools and settings click on ssl and tls certificates and then issue a let encrypt certificate to the panel so you're going to change this package um, delete everything so it's plesk mm, this one is dot site dot site you can choose contact dot site okay and then we rename go to tools and setting under general setting click server settings then want to change this name to plesk wp dot site click ok looks everything is now ok let's go back well it's ok we can now access our plus panel via plesk dot wp this one is dot site I see if it's working oh it's working it's working perfectly just grab your password and everything is good now we can add an SSL certificate to our main website to the website go all the way down to click on install a free basic certificate by let encrypt choose all these options but before you choose webmail make sure to add dns records for webmail just add a hair record then the host name will be webmail then the value is your web server ip address and then do the same for mail a record 
hostname, mail, and then your IP address. Back to a place panel. Now we can enable this. Hmm, perfect. As you can see, webmail is protected. I'll show you how to add a webmail account. The TLS version is already enabled by default, which is good. Oh, if it is not enabled, just click enable. Yeah, make sure you have redirected all the traffic for HTTP to HTTPS and then enable HSTS. Yeah, just leave all the default settings. Enable this one and then enable OCSP. Perfect. Now, website is secure. Let's go back to websites and domains. There's nothing. We've not yet installed WordPress. We want to install WordPress into our site. So we're going to install WordPress. Let's go under WordPress. Install WordPress. The installation path, just leave it blank. Uh, website title, you could just put it just WP. Plugin and after that you can install. Yeah, make sure to save the password. Yeah, it is installing. It is now complete. So let's go install plugins. No, no, you'll do that later. Everything is okay, seems okay with me. Uh the advantage of place panel we have uh, caching by nginx you can enable caching by nginx that's amazing to use Castra Cadence, which is my favorite. You can also choose Nave with our general price. So, the other one which is good is Bloxy. Bloxy, Bloxy is also another good one. So, for this tutorial, we're going to use this. So all these are free templates you can choose and you can choose anyone they all look good this one is an online shop online shop online shop 